Okay, the, the easiest way to do this is not necessarily the most elegant. So let's start in uh, on problem number six. When Easter falls on April 14th, what day of the week does uh, Christmas fall on? Well, I'm going to first count the number of days between Easter and Christmas. So we'll have whatever is in April, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. But then we have May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then the days in December. Okay, so May, uh, 31 days, June 30, July 31, August 31, September 30, October 31, November 30, and in December 25. Now in April, we'll have from uh, the 14th to the uh, 30th. So we would take 30 minus 14, that's 16 days in April. So we add up how many days, okay, which uh, 16 plus um, 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 25 equals there are 200 and should be 255 days between. Well, it makes it easy because Easter falls on Sunday, so all I had to do is take this mod 7, or I guess you say 255 modulo 7. Okay, so I divide 255, let's see, 255 divided by 7. Well, it's 30. Six and some left over, so I had 255 minus 6 times 7. 255 minus 36 times 7, which is equal to 3. So uh, Sunday is 0, Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, and Wednesday is 3. So the answer is Wednesday. Okay. Now, determine which of the following is a leap year. Well, leap years, first of all, are they divisible by four? That's the first test. This is not divisible by four, so this is a standard year. Okay. 64. Well, this is an even number, so... Uh, it's possibly divisible by 4. If I subtract 4, it takes 62, because to determine whether a year is divisible by 4, you just have to look at the last two digits. Uh, divisible by 4, well, 62. If I subtract 40 from that, that leaves 22. If I, I subtract 20 from that, that leaves 2. So the remainder modulo 4 is equal to 2. This is not divisible by 4. So 1962 is a standard year.